Greetings, you scum. My name is Krusty, and welcome back to Stranded Deep. Now, in the last episode, we made ourselves a little raft. It's dinky, and it's not so magnificent, but I like it, you know what I mean? I like it. I don't know what's going to do you any harm, my friend. So since the last time, I've actually been doing a little bit of stuff. Not that much, just a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean I've just got a few more sticks and stuff. Like, again, not a whole lot, just a few. You may look at that and think, boy, that's a lot of sticks. But I know well and true that that's not a lot of sticks, and those sticks just go like that. Because you use sticks so much for so many things, and they're not going to last very long. I know that, I know that, I know that. I've also got some meat, which is good, because I believe I need to eat. I absolutely do. That's, that's, that's very good. If I can kill a shark at some point, so I can actually have the meat from it, and it'll, it'll, it'll do a lot better in my belly, then I'm, man, I would just, I would be quite a happy person. I'm also gonna drink a little bit out of my uh, my 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 little clay pot. There you go. You stand up properly like that. You have some damn respect, damn it. So since the last time this game has received a few updates, one of those updates is new addition to the watch. Uh, you can actually see your status. Oh, so one of the new updates is that you can see your status effects on the watch. It would appear that I have sunburn, which is a problem, and I don't really know how to get rid of that. How do I get rid of sunburn? How do I get rid of it? Curse you not so bright, son, and your inevitable sunburn. So what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm actually going to use the raft, the tiny little cute little raft that we made in the last episode, and we're going to go sailing away onto the open borders, and we're going to go, we, we're going to go try and find some treasure. We're going to dive down into the deep and see what we can get our greasy little mitts on. And before we do that, though, I'm going to pick up three wooden crates because we're going to need some storage. So let's, 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 let's do that. that that's, that's, that's good. What I need to do, though, now that I'm doing this, is I need to remember exactly where I'm coming from and where I'm going. Because I don't have a compass or any real way to map my location. I just need to use my memory. And if memory serves me correctly, I can remember things quite well. If that's true, I'm not sure. I may have forgotten previous experiences which I have forgotten. Another new update in this game is storms. So hopefully we don't see a storm in this episode. Um, it would be interesting, sure, but I mean, it would probably kill me. This raft is definitely a lot quicker than our little bubble puddle explorer, but it could still be quicker. I'm just never satisfied, so it could it could definitely be a lot quicker than it is. Um, just park up our little raft just right over here. So what is in this bit here? Let's find out. There's some corrugated scrap, which is good because we don't have that yet. We can use that for many things that, like, like stuff we can use it for stuff i'm gonna have a run around this island before i explore the bubble puddle and everything because look there's a there's a little boy hello little boy how are you doing little fellas it's a good job i don't want to kill i could kill him he'd be good for food hey buddy hey buddy hey buddy don't be running come you're always you're always such a problem stop it stop oh, God, i need to I need to craft a bow and some arrows to get them, I think. I I knew it, but I thought I could get it. I thought I could. Okay, so let's go dip in our head into the water here and see if there's like a, a crate or something over here. There should be. There's bubbles. Bubbles are usually a good sign of stuff. <gasps> oh boy, he's big, isn't he? Um, If I keep my eyes on him, maybe he won't attack me. Oh God, he's so close. Okay, I don't want to be over there anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. I regret the decision. What am I doing? Maybe we should just go home. No, let's go. Let's go. No, let's go check that little. Let's. Let's. I'm going to check this boat out. And we're going to see what good stuff is inside it. I might also see what bad stuff is inside it. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So I'm pretty sure with the. Hey, what are you doing, my friend? You, you stop getting so damn close here, buddy. Pretty sure he's not going to be able to get me here. So how long until he gets bored, I wonder? How long can I survive underwater looking in that boat before he nibbles on me? Let's just have a real quick look here. Assuming that Mr. Sharkfella got kind of bored of our antics and is now leaving us alone, we should be fine to explore this boat. At the very least, explore the top of it. Just in here anyway. What is in here? There is a crate. That's very good. Uh, there's an air tank. That's very good considering what we're doing. There's a jerry can. I'll take it and more corrugated scrap. Okay, why didn't I just put them all up in the crate? I don't know, but I guess now I can just put them back in. Should have done that to begin with. 
A label maker. Okay, well, we've already got a label maker, so we don't need that. I'm going to leave that here. A large locker. There's a machete. Hello. And a fire torch, which might be useful. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure if I'm in the position to be using a fire torch or a torch. Well, I, just, I would like a torch, like a, one I can use underwater. That would be pretty cool. I guess that would be pretty, that'd be pretty cool. But I feel pretty good using this machete right now. Um, if a shark comes near, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'll stab it. <laughs> I'll stab it. There's a shark swimming around here somewhere and I'm surrounded. I don't know where it is. I gotta make like a break for my, my raft. Where is it? It's over there. I gotta make a break for it. This is this is danger. I expected danger. I was excited, but more I was I was concerned about it. Okay, just gonna just gonna just swim out. Spin around. Make a break for the raft. Get the hell away from this island. Okay? Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do that. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do. Uh, there's there's uh, there's a little bit of a distance there with the water to to, to swim. I can't really see it. The water is very dark, but um, ash. Uh, we can make it. I think. I think we can. Oh god, I, they're still in the boat. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. God, oh, god, it makes me so nervous. I can't see behind me. It makes me so nervous, and I really don't. I really don't like it. Right. Well, this island is kind of a bore. We got a machete out of it, I guess, which is good. I'm gonna go to that island right ahead right now. I gotta remember that that I no can't see my home island so in the darkness i see one shipwreck at least so there is something to explore there looks like a possible another one on the land more towards the left but there is that one there and it's pretty close to the island so i should be able to look at it in the dark and i don't have to really swim that far to it which is pretty good there's got, got some buoys on it which is useful and it could be useful to expand the raft which is what I'm going to be wanting to do. I want to expand the raft at some point. Whether I do that in this episode or not, I'm not really sure. Probably not. So first, let's jump up to the top of this boat. If I can, if the game bloody lets me, I'm swimming. Makes it difficult to jump. Maybe I can do it. Maybe, come on, buddy, you can jump it. You can jump it, my friend. Fine, don't then. Let's get in, let's just get in here and have a look. It's really dark. I can't see a goddamn thing. Uh, there's nothing in the console. There's some more corrugated scrap which is good. There's another large locket. A torch! Perfect! That's exactly what I want, a torch. I need a torch. That's so... Oh, that's so... Things are going really well. Out of out of all the stuff I could possibly get here, and there's a lot of stuff I'm not sure what is in the game, but I knew there's a torch and a machete, and we've already got both of them. There's corrugated scrap, which we can use to actually build a bunch of stuff, which is really good. Now, I've just managed to climb up to the top here, so I can have a look in in this, this thing. There's some beans... I like beans. Okay, so let's drop our wooden crates and put all the stuff back in here and then open the wooden crate and pick up the beans. I'm going to leave the wooden tarp. Maybe I'll need them at some point. But there's such an abundance of them in this game. I'm not really fussed if I don't pick up the wooden tarp right now. I'm really glad I got the torch though. Helps me see underwater as well, which is really good. I'm not going to bother picking up that wooden crate because I have so many of them. It's just a waste of time. In fact, I'm going to pick it up and abuse it. Yeah, stupid inanimate object. I'm the boss of you, aren't I? They're, oh my god, look at all the bubble puddles over there. Look at them all. There's some corrugated scrap. Got some corrugated scrap. This is going good. If I need stuff for corrugated scrap, I'm getting loads of it. You found your home on this island as well, I assume. Maybe you're part of a bigger scheme of things that I'm not quite seeing. Maybe you're all Tina. Like, all the crabs. You're all Tina. You're all part of one consciousness. You're like a hive mind. Maybe. Is that is that what this is, is, Tina? Is that what this is? She doesn't talk. She never talks. She should talk more. Gotta remember to walk real careful. Because there are snakes. And hello, hello. That's another thing I needed to look for. Cura, cura fruit. So in the last episode, one of you guys told me that I can't actually use potatoes on the farmland, which is why it wasn't working. But that fruit is something I should be able to plant. So we should be able to get a food source back at home island base place now, which is good. Assuming it doesn't go all moldy and horrible before- Ah! I just got bitten by- Ah! Don't, don't run towards me, you little bastard! Son of a bitch! Oh, man. God damn- I mean- okay, was a little, He gave me a little warning nip. I was just saying I need to be careful where I'm walking because there's snakes. And what happens? I get bitten by a snake. It was always going to happen, but I didn't realize it would happen then. At that specific point in time, probably why it happened. You sneaky little snake. Sing me a nighttime song, Cena. Sing me one, please. I said sing, Tina, not dance. God damn. Bloody useless. 
You are useless. What is even the point of you? This this is your family. This is what you make me do. I didn't want to do it, Tina, but you made it happen. She made me do that. You all saw it. Look, more fruit. That's good. Oh, there's a different kind of fruit. Okay, so we got two different kinds of fruit now. We got Cura fruit and we got Kuawa fruit. I'm not sure what the difference is of those beside them just looking a little bit different. Maybe they give you uh, better boosts. One of them is better than the other ones. I'm not really sure, but I'm excited to find out. Maybe I can make two pieces of farmlands and I can grow them both. Maybe. Is that getting a bit too ahead of myself? Perhaps it is. But confidence is something I need a little bit more of because I need to go diving into the water quite soon. I could do it now because I have a torch. Sure, I have a torch. I could see underwater with it. I just don't want to, that's all. I'm still a little bit worried about going underwater. I don't want to go under in the dark. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I have the torch out, I don't have my weapon out, and that worries me even more. So I'm just going to wait here until the morning. I can survive. I should be fine. You know what? No, no. I'm going to go exploring. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to beat my fears. All right. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to poke my head in the water and see what I. Oh my god! It's so dark. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's too dark. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing that again. There's no way. No way I'm doing that again. That's... Absolutely not. Okay, so it's daytime now, which means I have survived the night, which is always good when you survive and you do not die. I'm currently healthy, which is extra good. Because health is what I'm going to need if... Hang on one second. No, no, hold up. No, 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 buddy, no. No, I, I was just going to say I mean, it's time to go exploring under the water and now a tiger shark appears. Brilliant. And he looks quite aggressive, quite fidgety, fidgety. I wish you would not be so aggressive. You want to be aggressive? Fine, let's get aggressive. Yeah! Slice! Don't like it. Oh, you want some more, huh? Yeah, yeah, come back here. Oh, hello, is that going to hold up now? I don't know if I'm hitting you, but it feels pretty good to know that I'm getting quite close. Oh, come on, then. You're so aggressive. You're so mean. Why are you these things? Did I get you then? Oh, God, God damn it. Okay, I don't like him. I don't like it. This is getting too dangerous. This is getting too dangerous for me. I gotta stop it now. I think I got a good shot on him because he swam away. But he'll be back. And with greater numbers. Probably not. Probably not. Probably just him still. I hope it's just him anyway. I hope it's not him at all. I hope I killed him. Maybe I killed him with one shot. It hit him with a machete. Maybe I cut his brain. No, there he is. There he is. Oh, oh come. I'm gonna get. Oh, God damn it. Okay, I'm in the, I'm in the water now. And swimming is difficult. I really don't enjoy this. I don't enjoy this, but I gotta deal with this shark. I don't have. A... He just swam into the land. Okay. Where did he go? Where did... Tina's dead family member, where did he go? Found him. I'm gonna get this bastard. I'm gonna get him. I've decided. I'm gonna get him. I'm not gonna go searching for the treasures until I get him. The only treasure I may end up taking home that's worth something is his head. And damn it, I'm gonna take back his head. It might not fit on the raft, but I'm gonna try it. Oh, okay, you got, yeah, you got teeth. You got a mean attitude. I have a sharp thing. Ugh, you got a load of sharp things. They call your teeth, but I don't, I mean, my teeth aren't. Teeth aren't as sharp as yours, my friend, but I'll, I'll, I'll give you a nibble. I think I'm hitting him. I didn't hit him then, but I feel like I'm hitting him quite a lot. I feel like I'm doing some damage anyway. I've hit him at least once, and that's once more than I expected to actually hit him. So I don't know how many hits he actually takes until he goes down, but he's gonna go down. He's really, he's really antsy and aggressive, isn't he? Look how quick he's moving around like this, like this, like this. <laughs> but I've worked out his pattern. He's got a routine, and he's sticking to it. And I'm gonna have a routine. On his corpse. D that didn't make sense, did it? Did that make sense? I don't know. So with the clever use of a new quick crafting mechanic and you just hold down the crafting thing and things you have in front of you and on you, you can just, you can make a lot quicker. I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a bunch of lashings, as many lashings as I can make. But more importantly, I'm going to make a crude spear. Does it do as much damage as a machete? Probably not. However, it's spiky and I can use it from a distance. That's, that's going to be very useful to me. It probably won't do a whole lot of damage, but it should be a little bit easier in me in assisting in me actually trying to hit the shark. So it might take longer, but I'm gonna bloody get him.
He's gone now, isn't he? So we got about four bubble puddles right in front of us right now that we can jump down and explore. Let's go ahead and do that. I have... Oh, you didn't. Oh, no. Oh, God! Okay! Oh, look who dragged me out into the middle of nowhere! <laughs> ah! Uh, uh, you flipped my raft, you little bastard! He waited until he got me out in the middle of the... Not quite the middle, and then he tipped my raft over. Can I tip that raft back over again? Is that a possible thing that I can do? Where's my stick gone? I don't have a pointy stick anymore. Did he make me drop it? God damn it. Ah, god damn it. God damn it. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back. I need to make another pointy stick. God damn him. You know, you know, just... God damn him. God damn him in his scheming ways. Hey, hey. No, come back. Over here. Like, I'm gonna stab you with it. Come back. Let me assault you with this pointy stick. I got him. I poked him with a stick. He did a little wiggle. That's... What the hell was that? Seagull. God damn it. They're all against me. Where the hell did he go? I don't know where he's gone. He's gone somewhere, but I don't know where he's gone. Where did he go? Oh, God! There he is! I thought I'd just wander into the water because I didn't know where he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, God damn it! Stop doing that! I think he got me. I'm pretty sure he bit me. I lost a lot of health then. My, my, my... Ah, oh, God damn it. That's not... God, it didn't even look like he got me, but he got me. God damn it. I'm gonna run away so he goes away. I need to get my raft back. I'm not accomplishing anything without my raft. And he's, he's hurt me and he's assaulted me and now I'm, I'm feeling the pain quite a lot. This is a problem. I'm not sure about this whole diving for treasure around these bubble puddles is really a good idea. I'm not sure it's the best idea. Maybe I should just now focus on getting the rafty raft back and heading back home, I think. In the comfort of home, I can sleep and I can feel a lot better about myself. I got medicine and everything at home. That's what I need. I got medicine, I got food, I got drink. These are the stuff I need. This is the stuff I desire. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it. First of all, I'm gonna pick up my crates. They're my crates, I deserve them. Looks like I got a clear path to the to the raft, but I fought that before and I was wrong. So let's um let's Let's just dive in. Looks okay. Can bring my raft back for sure. This this is looking good. This is looking good. This is looking very good. I'm I'm happy for this. I'm very excited about this. I'm turning my back against the possible enemy here. Oh no, that was very stupid of me to do. But okay, I got my raft back now. I just need to flip it back over. And then I can go home. Okay, done. Really simple. It didn't take him a lot of effort to flip the raft over though, did it? So hopefully I could just... I could just sail on all my way home. So so long, bubble puddles. I, I wish I had time to investigate you, but I don't. I really don't. Maybe another day. Not this day. This day is filled with terror, and this day is... I've been wronged so much on this day. I need to build a bigger, more secure raft. This raft is terrible. One little boop on the snoop by a shark and it's gone tipped over and I'm straight in the water. Bubble Puddle Explorer, a, a yellow dinghy thing was a lot better and more secure than this. This ain't secure at all. I'm surrounded by danger the more I stand on this. I see home. I think. I think that's home. I hear shark music. That's, that's really not good. And I know how quick those things are as well. They're really quick. I imagine it's another tiger. Sh it's probably the same shark. It's following me home. He doesn't want this to end. At least not with my escape. That cloud looks like a spaceship. It's like it's disguised itself around clouds to avoid detection. It's gone black now. That's probably not good. So now we're back home. I've dropped all the stuff off. I'm going to fill up my clay water bottle and then I'm going to have me a drink seize and then I'm going to see if I can have me any food seize and then I'm going to go to sleep and in the morning I'm going to try planting some of that fruit that we picked up or maybe I should try doing that now just in case it gets all not usable during the night I should try that I should try that let's try planting this oh, I planted it how about that we got food now great that was really easy I just needed the right stuff to do it okay good it's morning now and I feel pretty good I've still got some health I need to regain. I will regain that over time, I'm sure, but... You know, right now, I just... I feel an empty hole in my soul. Like some unfinished business lingering in the back of my mind. Where are you? I got a bone to pick with you. Or rather, more precisely, I have a machete to stick inside of you. Show yourself, you big, angry, toothy, aggressive fish. Ah. Rain. How appropriate. 
Does this mean you're on your way? Is that what that means? You're summoning rain somehow? Trying to signify some final battle? Show yourself! You bloody rascal! I'm getting very bored. I want to move on. I want to move on from this now. I waited all day and he hasn't shown up. I don't want to leave until he's dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa hold on just a second. <laughs> There's a storm. Look at the waves. They're getting all big and stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Oh, God, I don't like it. I've survived for 10 days. So I've been walking around here for three or four days trying to find that goddamn shark and he hasn't turned up. But now there's a giant storm happening. Do I need some like be in shelter in case I get struck by lightning or something? Is that is that is that something that <laughs> I want to be out on the water? Why? Why do I want to be out on the water? I don't know. I just want to feel the power of the waves and I want to be on it. I'm shouting now because it's quite loud. This is so cool and so frightening and so cool. Can you imagine being stuck out in the ocean where there's no islands or land around you anywhere? And then you're just stuck here with sharks around you and this is happening? Can you imagine? And you get tipped overboard and all that kind of stuff. Which maybe that happens. Maybe you get really big waves and they tip you over. I'm not sure. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I just feel like it's fun and it's new and exciting and I have to experience it. I'm going to leave this episode here now. Like we didn't... didn't we did we did. <laughs> it's really very loud. I'm gonna leave this episode here now because the, we're not gonna fight the shark apparently. He's turned into a chicken and he's too afraid to fight me. Makes sense and I don't blame it one bit. I will see you in the next video. So, so long my friends and farewell.